In my very first video, we're going to talk about two fragrances and we're going to talk about um, their substitutes and the main topic is fragrance layering. Now, this fragrance, the first one is from the house of Tom Ford. It's called Jasmine Rouge. This is what the box looks like. And here's the bottle. It's really beautiful. This is heaven in a bottle. The other fragrance is from the House of Diptyque. It's called Tim Dell. The name is taken from a region in Northern Vietnam. This is a woody scent, but very light and very pleasant. This is what the bottle looks like. And you have the beautiful pattern in the back as well. I really like the atomizer as well. The substitute for this one would be Oud Wood. Again from Tom Ford. But this one has a rather different vibe, you know. This is more uh, pungent and stronger than uh, a classic sandalwood or cedarwood fragrance like Tim Dow. But they really work out well with Jasmine Rouge. Or it's a substitute that I'm going to show you in a second. Right off the bat, you can smell the, the agar wood. The lighter woody notes have pretty much the same vibe, I would say. But this one has a more pungent, a more, a stronger um, note. The agar wood. Now the substitute for this one would be from the brand of Le Labo, LYS41. And this is the tester. The other time I was watching a review on Jasmine Rouge from Tom Ford. It was mentioned that this is pure floral and not overly complicated, very refined and quite simple. I can pick the other notes uh, that have been described. It smells very upscale, very spicy. I can definitely smell the black and white pepper and the cardamom. This has been described to be very voluptuous, sensuous and classy and sexy. It certainly is not screaming with the jasmine. It's white floral and it contains the other notes. It's a nice blend of white floral and of course uh, the jasmine is not really the only white floral note that is prevailing. Longevity on my skin is probably about 12 hours plus. The sillage is extraordinarily good. Versatility. You can wear this all around a year and it's not season specific as far as I can figure out. Projection probably 8 or 9 out of 10. Now the top notes are bergamot, mandarin, cinnamon, ginger, black and white pepper. The heart notes are broom flower, neroli, jasmine, ylang ylang, sage. And the base notes are Mexican vanilla, leather, woody notes, amber. The nose behind this fragrance is Rodrigo Flores Rube. This one was launched in 2011. Like, So the other fragrance we're going to talk about for fragrance layering, if you want to project more masculine or lean more toward the masculine side is Tim Dow. It reminds me a little bit of this one, Oud Wood 
from Tom Ford. But it's a little bit less strong, I would say. It doesn't really consist of the agar wood. It's not an oud fragrance at all. It's just a very pleasant, not a very pungent, woody scent. Longevity is about six hours on my skin. Preferably for the colder season. It's excellent for fall. Projection is probably about seven out of 10. And it's not extremely blasting like an oud fragrance, as I just said. The notes are sweet lime, coriander, ginger, woody notes, amber notes, sandalwood, and cedarwood. And this one came out in 2012. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what you like or dislike about these fragrances. And let me know what you personally use for fragrance layering. Thank you.